You guys might like this. It's only 38 seconds in here, but we're going to clarify the NTSB's role. Again, it's a safety recommendations they're, they're going to do and also determine probable cause. Not the determined cause, probable cause. So they have an out because you said it's probable cause. Um, we're trying to determine the real cause and they're just trying to get as close in the ballpark, horseshoes. Let's go with 38 seconds and then I'm going to talk to you about how this will never happen twice with my formula. Never will it be able to happen twice again. And you'll see why I can say that. So I like giving tips. One of my double entrees, the, uh, I call it. I'm to Tom Walt, and I'm the chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board. And with us tonight Easy. is Robert Aceta, who is the investigator in charge for this tragedy here in Miami. I think most of you know that the NTSB is an independent federal agency. We are charged by Congress to investigate transportation accidents, to determine the probable cause, and then to issue safety recommendations to prevent the reoccurrence. Okay. So to prevent the reoccurrence, safety recommendations. But let's finish the last few seconds. 38 seconds. I want to emphasize that the NTSB is here to conduct a safety investigation. That's it. Safety investigation. That's it. Now let's go on to my thing here. I didn't proofread it, so guys, bear with me. Whoa, okay. Um, yeah, that's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. Let me fast forward that. It's near the bottom. Okay. So, you guys should like this. Loadmasters. Loadmasters in the military, right? They're the, uh, okay, this is what it's going to look like. FIU, bridge collapse, and TSB's best recommendations. So the NTSB say that they will only give a safety recommendation and probable cause, right? So one, I have the perfect safety recommendation. One, load testing must be done on structures before the public or workers are endangered, except for the engineers. They are allowed to uh, endanger themselves. That, that's my exception to that. So if you know you're doing that to, to protect the workers, you should have had the, the, the structure supported or they should have been able to somehow fall free, hang in the air, you know, like you're using literally like a, a man lift, a crane, where if it fell to the ground, they would not be uh, caught up in the uh, incident. That would technically not be feasible. You would want to support the structure to put the loads back so that it can't, so that we don't have to worry about it collapsing. Now, you don't have to go totally craziness out of your way, but you're going to have to do that. Two, engineers are required to literally stand underneath their works while load testing is taking place. So if you're an engineer and you say that, hey, this is good enough, this works, I'm sure of this, does my formula say it works? Good. You now have to stand underneath the bridge while they load test it. Let's see how confident you are about your abilities then. You have put some skin in the game. You know, you literally, this is my trick, I said you'll ne this will never happen twice. Because, well, if they fail in their design, the bridge comes down, <laughs> takes care of that engineer. We never have to worry about that engineer ever making a mistake again. So... Imagine the engineers of this one. If they had to stand under there while they gave the orders to do what they're doing, these engineers would be nothing to speak of. It would automatically, you know, strong, the, the, the survival, the, it would, they can never make that mistake again. That those don't have to, we won't have to put up with those engineers again. Okay. The intent of this requirement is to assure quality evaluations from all engineers and to weed out all engineers who have failed in their evaluations. So if you you know you're saying XX, it's going to weed you out. You're going when I'm being polite, saying weed out. It will kill the engineer. Engineer will not exist anymore. We do not take this step. Then this, you know, I'm making this up and I'm talking like a, a fake NTSB report, right? We do not take this step lightly, and we are not the first to insist on such quality control. A pilot goes down with a plane if they make a mistake. The loadmaster in a military transports are required to stay with their their loads, assuring if they make assuring. If they made a mistake, that they will not be able to make that mistake again, as their lives depend on them being right. Corinthians right. This is the best way to ensure quality. And now we deal with the cracks, okay? If cracks, etc., appear on a structure, it must be documented. Work must come to a stop and full evaluation by a third party that has no interest and will sign a contract stating they will not have any direct or third-party interest with the builder or engineers for at least 24 months. This will require that engineers not have any current or future conflict of interest. I left out here that immediately the structures should be made um, safe as far as 
If it's an eminent, eminent, if you if you think it's an eminent, if, if it's dangerous, it should be made safe. And safe could be simply putting barricades around it and safe, letting it fall to its death, if you will, not to fall and kill people, you know, cause their death. That cracks must be reproducible. This is very important. For, for when I do all this, it needs to be reproducible. You know, this is the thing about crack evaluation. You need to be able to redo it again. The cracks must be reproducible. reproducible. The intent is to show that the direct cause has been determined and therefore can be mitigated and tested to determine if they are re reproducible with the original formula, quote, formula that produced the crack. So NTSB says, you know, it's a probable. So probable means, you know, you're probably not going to be able to reproduce it because it leaves a probable thing. Whereas I can reproduce every time out that if I strike the uh, concrete where the rebar is above it, I'm going to create a crack in the structure at that point and crack, uh, you know, and start making it fail at that point. I can, I can reproduce that every time out, every day, all the time, anywhere in the world. Okay. And so it's reproducible. These cracks are reprodu reproducible. Once you can reproduce it, you know how it happened. All right, that no material will be allowed to cover cracks. You cannot cover cracks. There will be no covering of cracks. That documentation of cracks will stay with a public data, stay with a public database for all engineers and inspector, inspectors to access, along with the general public, because the general public has a right to know about uh, these structures. Four, the load monitoring will be placed on any structure that exhibits cracks with the intent, and I mean steel structures also, with the intent to confirm that all repairs are stable. So you're going to be able to monitor them. Five, that load monitoring will also consist of a red light signage on the structure that will state structure, quote, structure, structure has been closed due to unforeseen stresses. In other words, if the load monitor hits a certain point where it's now a danger, just like the heat in your car, it's now a danger. They're moving, the monitors are moving, the sensors will automatically send, turn a red light on, you know, bright red. We all know what red means. It's universal for stop. And the signage will come, structure has been closed due to unforeseen stresses. It means don't, the structure is closed. You know, do not proceed, you know, in small print, and I'm being facetious here, in small print it will read, this bridge is dangerous. Do not proceed. It will send out alerts, but in, not in small print, and not being facetious anymore. It will send out alerts to all dots, wherever the Department of Transportations are, and emergency personnel to close the structure immediately. And when I say it sends out emergency personnel, it will send to whatever's responding agency this closest. So they will automatically have something. If they're the police department for there, they know that immediately they should go there and secure that area, close it off. Okay, that's the, that takes care of safety recommendations for all the structures around the United States. Implement this, you know, come, somebody needs to come up with a simple um, monitoring system. You can make, you can make your, you can make your billion dollars on this. You can become the billionaire if you come up with this, sell a package for each bridge everywhere. Take payments on it, you know, take payments on this package. Um, and it needs to be redundant also. You just can't do a one-off and your computer system failed. So the system needs to be monitored and tested itself, you know, um, literally. So they have inspections every two years, right? Uh, I think that's too long. Um, I think, you know, any incident would also require that all the structure be checked. And um, so these monitors might go off when wind is blowing and things like that. So don't get complacent. If the wind's blowing, you, you should consider that that wind is also causing damage. Uh, so you need to have formulas in it. You need to have the false pot, the false readings. Someone going up there and trying to shut down a bridge by banging at the monitors, finding where they are. That will have to be resolved. But people are just people, you know. They're, they're nasty that way sometimes. But you need to resolve it. Number one, though, is have all engineers steer, stand underneath their work, just like the loadmaster in the military. you got to go with your work. Just like an airplane pilot. He goes with his work every day. He fails. He doesn't make sure his plane is running right. So when you guys are scared of planes... Remember, the pilot, he's got a concern, too, to make sure that plane's running right. He's checking those records, you know, if he wants to make it home. So is the co-pilot, okay, on co-pilots and also the navigators, etc. So they, they have an interest to make sure that plane is kicking butt. And this now puts sweat in the game for engineers to stop saying, I'm sure that formula works. Go for it. Like the Denny Pate formula now. You need to come up with something, you know, Denny Pate formula. You know, like the Monica Lewinsky and stuff like that. Denny Pate formula means... Hell be damned, you know, go ahead and post tension that. We don't care about those people. You know, obviously, he's the engineer that was in that meeting. This showed negligence on my part, on his, my thinking, on his part. 
you know, this this is ridiculous. And every, all the other engineers, and, and you know I say if I use ridiculous on this, it's just too big to fail thing. I'm losing my, my video's uh, statement, so I'm moving away from this. Thank you for watching this. And you guys can have fun with this too. You can add to it.